Okay, it's Mike Messier. We're having a little Walmart fun today with Mike. Now I'm just checking to see if I've damaged in any way my glasses. I don't think I have. I think I did not scratch or dent them. But this anecdote deserves telling. I was just in this fucking Walmart. This, this fucking other car is trying to back into me like a fucking asshole. This story may not be safe for women. Uh, but everyone else is okay. So basically what happened is I go into a fucking Walmart. I'm out of sorts. I'm in a strange destination. And for reasons we won't get into, I did not have clean, proper clothing on me. Now, I know all the Walmart fucks out there, people who hate Walmart will say, oh, go to your local clothier in that town. Well, I don't have time for that, okay? I'm going to the fucking Walmart to just get some cheap clothes. And I'm not going to feel guilty about it. So if Wally Walmart wants to come out of his throne and fucking give people a raise, he can do that. But I'm, on, I'm just doing what I can to get by. So the point is, I go into this fucking Walmart. I'm buying clothes. I go to the self-cashier registered damn thing. That overcharges me for a pair of jeans that are supposed to be seven bucks. And then the fucking guy with the beard comes over, the customer service guy. I have to wave him down and gently explain that I'm getting fucked on the cash register thing. So he gives me a fucking, uh, he, he breaks it down to 13, but he can't do seven somehow with all his magic tricks. So I get fucked on six bucks. Then I buy this nice hoodie, which was labeled for only $7 if I can find the damn thing. But of course, uh, that rings up as nine. So I'm catching on to you, Walmart. You're fucking me every which way. But the real fucking, the, of course, I didn't even pay. I waved down that fucking fuck again and made him come over and fucking help me earn his dollars. But I get this nice thing for only uh, nah, seven bucks. He did bring it up seven. Then moving forth, um, my next situation was I'm walking around. I'm not even wearing clean socks. I'm wearing sneakers without socks, which is horrible. And um, I'm like, damn it. What do I do? So I buy him these socks. Then I go to the men. So I buy all this stuff. Then I go to the men's room, and I'm like, I'll just do what I do. I, I mean, it's like all, it's a lot of procedures. You have to buy your stuff. Then you have to like you have to go to the fitting room and try this crap on. Then you gotta fucking take it all off and put your old shitty clothes back on, including shoes with no socks. Then you gotta buy the stuff. Do you know what the bearded fuck? Uh, it is fucking problem. Get fucked for six bucks on a pair of shitty ass jeans. I, uh, just, you know, temporary jeans. Okay. Then the next process is now I got to change back into these clothes that I just tried on because now I own them. So I go to the fucking dressing room, uh, uh, the bathroom, the restroom. Okay. Cause I'm like, okay, I'll go to the restroom and I'll put in, put these clothes on that I just purchased. Now I didn't think if I could go back to the fitting room, but I figured I also use the men's room all in there. I go in, and guess what? There's a fucking guy. Now, this is where the women should not watch this video. There is a man using the toilet, okay? If you catch my drift, in a manly way. I mean, this guy stinks. And look, okay, that's why the single server is better. But when you're in a Walmart, you, you, sometimes you get these fucking group fucking men's rooms. And this is not strawberries and peach cream like the women's room. This is some hardcore shit going on in there, folks. So I'm like, okay, this sucks. I step out and then I go into uh, the fucking little bench thing. And I'm like, let me just hang out at this bench and put on my socks at least. Now I got the big and tall socks, I got a big man fucking feet. And guess what I discover? Well, um, my socks are not, uh, obviously these socks don't, they're labeled as big and tall, but they don't feel big and tall. Okay. They feel regular size. I can just feel the difference. I've had feet long enough. So then I'm like, fuck. Then I'm waiting around. Another guy goes into the men's room and he comes out within two minutes, like a gentleman. I'm like, okay, where's that other fucking asshole? Um, he's still in there. I go in the goddamn men's room for now the second time. And the motherfucker is still uh, taking a shit, to be, to be frank. And uh, it was just so amorous. And that's when things got really bad. Because I'm like, i got to put this fucking shirt on that I'm wearing now. This new shirt. This, this shirt that I'm wearing. So I'm like, 
I just changed my shirt, hoping against hope that no other freaks come into the men's room and see a grown man changing his shirt. But as I'm changing my shirt, this fucking hat that I like, I like this wintry hat, but it, it's fucking uh, this company that has a label on it, okay? This Levi's label tends to fuck me because it bangs against my eyeglasses, which can cause scratches. So I'm trying to take the fucking hat off and then the shirt, and then the, the putting the shirt on brings the fucking uh, medallion on the Levi's hat into my glasses, which might have scratched them, but it doesn't seem like it did it, but it did make contact. Now, the next problem is, um, the next problem is that, uh, what's his dick? The fucking homeboy, um, the, f the fucking guy taking a shit is stinking up the joint so much, and I just may have scratched my glasses. Now, at the time, I wasn't sure had I scratched my glasses or not. So, at an act of revenge, pure hatred and spite to this gentle fuck, what I did was I fucking turned the lights off in the men's room. There was a men's room light switch, and it was one of those weird things with like two flat panels, not a switch, but like a bunch of panels and buttons, and I pushed the middle button to turn the lights off on this offensive shitter so that my fucking issues with possibly scratching my expensive glasses and possibly, uh, you know, just being inconvenienced, okay, and having to smell his shit, uh, he has to pay the price because now he, he's trying to finish his shitting job in pure darkness. So fuck him and fuck the world. That's me, Mike Messier.